Hi, in this video of HTML5, we are going to work with a new API called Geolocation. As the name says, Geolocation actually finds the geographic location of any client with respect to the longitude and latitude and on the base of its location, we as the developer can provide the specific services to the client so that it will be helpful for them as per their country preferences. So let's see a practical implementation where we will implement the geolocation in HTML5. So let's start and see how it is possible for by using the JavaScript in the code. Now in order to get the location, I am using three different methods in JavaScript which we will call in the user end and here is a button to call those methods. And first of all what I am doing is here on the button click I call the get location method. So basically what it will do, it will call this get location method right here and will check whether your browser is compatible with the geolocation or not. So if it is then the condition will execute otherwise you will get the error message right here in the alert box. So here what I am doing is if navigator.geolocation means if it is supporting geolocation then what we will do is in the options we have taken a time out period a time out period of 60,000 milliseconds that is one minute alright and if within this one minute we are not able to get the location that means something is further wrong with it so what it is doing is it is calling geo, uh, navigator dot geolocation dot get current position alright so basically get current position is a predefined method inside which I am passing couple of methods that is show location error handler and the variable called options so show location is basically a met method right here alright the function right here inside which the current position will be passed alright and out of that particular position the longitude and latitude will be taken so position dot chords alright so this is the predefined thing so out there we will take the latitude and longitude property and we will store them in this method and those values will be shown in the method in this alert box alright similarly there is error handler inside which if there is any error means if you are unable to read the value within one minute then it will check like what is further wrong that is if error code will be one in that particular case access is denied if it is saying position is un means if it is saying pos error message 2 then it means position is unavailable so these error codes are again predefined so we will just check about those codes and according to that we will show the messages and finally options which will tell that it is supposed this method is supposed to find the location maximum for one minute so let's execute this program in the browser and here as soon as I will click over this button as it is the first time know your location just let me block this so what it's saying access is denied alright that means the error code 1 alright so let me just click again and this time I will allow it and in that particular case it is showing me the location the value of the longitude and latitude right here in the message box as per my current location so definitely if I am getting these values if you are executing the same program from some other location you will get some different value so this is how you can start getting the location using the HTML5 geolocation API tutorialspoint.com simply easy learning